it's me, Go Herping, on the floor. Today we're boxing up some animals and I'm gonna answer some Twitter Q&A as I go. Uh, can't take any animals in right now because if you, as you may know, we're moving locations, but we are shipping reptiles out because we sell them at Emerald Scales. I'm shipping one, two, three, four, five. I can't count to five. Five reptiles and then two invertebrate orders. It was supposed to be seven, but one person didn't pay the right shipping and the other person had to change the day. So yeah, I'm gonna show you them all. And I guess we'll start on this side with a leopard gecko. I'm pretty sure this was actually in an unboxing video, but we get a lot of shrimp albinos, so I'm not great at telling them apart, but I keep them all separate so I actually know. And I just forgot deli cups, so be right back. I'm back. I forgot paper towel. <laughs> I'm back. So this is a male tripper albino, and he's going in a cup. Juan said, how do you feel about those prank videos where people throw snakes and other scary animals at people who are scared of those animals? I mean, most of those are probably fake anyway. Um, I don't really care that much. I wouldn't do it, and I don't like those people, but I don't think it makes a huge difference overall. I don't think it's worth making a massive deal out of, but I also don't think you should do it. I can't get him to go in the deli, which is understandable. Sometimes I actually put the paper towel on top of them. It's like an extra little bit of padding where it's squishy enough and they can still move around, but they're nice and stable in place if they do happen to get bumped around at all. Did you ever skateboard or ever want to? Very random question, but I've never been on a real skateboard. I had a penny board that I would kind of scoot around on, but nothing crazy and I wasn't very good at it. Turning is also extra hard. And he's going in a six inch box, which is the smallest we have. But the cup fits perfectly. And I lost his label. I tried to be so organized. I have everything laid out. Okay, so this one's going to Pennsylvania. And it's warm enough where we don't need a heat or a cold pack. Just a friendly reminder, if I don't put a heat or cool pack in your package, I didn't forget it. It's because the temperatures are correct. Have you looked into Bitcoin? Trout keeps asking about Bitcoin for some reason. I really like Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is a way to spend money, but not make money. Personally, I've made like 10 bucks off Bitcoin. I like to buy it when it hits um, a number that I feel comfortable with, and I buy like $100 of it, and then I sell it when it goes up like five bucks. I kind of think of it as a way to like, pay for my lunch, basically. But then I realized it's gonna be a pain on my taxes because I'm gonna have to write all of these separate little $100 transactions that I keep doing. So I, I should probably stop doing that because it's just a waste of time. But I highly recommend crypto and although I, well, okay, I don't highly recommend it. I am a big fan of crypto and I personally do think that it is the future. Not super soon, but it only makes sense to it. There's kind of only benefits to it. What do you get from Taco Bell? People say my order is boring. It's usually just regular tacos, non-supreme. I kind of like the Supreme. And one animal's ready to go. Pretty simple. It was so simple packing animals at first that I felt like I was overlooking a step. But no, overall, it's like, you just gotta make sure you're doing the right stuff, sending it to the right address and you're all good. And I love the queso at Taco Bell, but when I went to Florida, I got Del Taco, and I think we were there for like three nights, and we got Del Taco five times. It was so good. I'm so envious. Next up is a hog nose. I am usually kind of intimidated to handling hog noses, but they're normally very friendly, so I'll do my best. It's actually pretty chilly at Tennessee, so it needs a heat pack, and I'll go ahead and just open it up to make sure it works. I've never had, I think I had one faulty heat pack that like maybe had a little hole in it, so it already heated up and, and stopped working. We've had complaints of heat packs not working coming in a lot, but I've never actually had them going out, so um, I think people just use them wrong. Okay, he's in this cork, and I'll just get the snake bag. He's going on a mesh one. I like using the mesh bags because people can see the animal before they stick their hand in, like I do in unboxings. Hello. So he's pretty small, but he's actually bigger than the average hog news we get. For some reason, we always get sent baby hogs and never adults. I don't, I'm not sure why. But um, I honestly, I think they're one of the animals that gets cuter as they grow because 
they they have the classic adorable snake face or, or adorable hog nose face because most snakes don't have a face like that I think they stand out and I think they do actually look cooler when they're bigger but I've never seen the adult in person it's always the babies what's the stinkiest reptile you currently have just any bearded dragon they smell very bad all the time not really like the problem is they just eat so much and then they produce a lot which in turn creates a lot of smell and since they're omnivores they have a lot in their diet so you can you can smell every bit of it and they tend to make a mess so because this hog nose is going with i probably shouldn't talk while i'm wrapping it's like talking while eating i'm putting this hog nose towards the bottom of the bag or of the box and I'm putting more paper on top because I don't want the heat mat to be directly on top of them uh, because it can burn them. And then I'm gonna tape it on. Do you add milk to coffee? I don't drink coffee, but I mean, I, I occasionally like Starbucks, but even then I try to just stick with non-caffeine frappuccinos because it's just too much caffeine for me. It just doesn't mix well. It's, it's too much serotonin for my little body. If you had space, would you ever consider larger reptiles like a big ass tortoise? Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to say that word. Um, like a big tortoise. <laughs> I, not really. In theory, I think it's cool to have like a big sulcata in my backyard, but that's not really where my interest is. So to temporarily have, yeah, I think it'd be cool to be able to house animals outside for sure. Like on our own piece of property, nice regulated, maintained area for certain species. So I'd do that. And I've ever been interested in caring for fish. I mean, as a child, I had the classic goldfish, fair fish, which is really depressing. Other than that, I haven't had the interest. I mean, I have an axolotl, Wooby Woo, who I haven't shown in a while, but um, she was in a 55 gallon with a couple others, and now she's tubbed because we're moving, so. Number two is done. How much poo do you touch on a daily basis? I don't know if there's many careers where you can answer a lot to this without it sounding concerning, but it's a lot. I used to be like super careful, like using gloves and staying sanitary, washing my hands every three seconds, but it's just, you just get used to it. And I'm not saying like, I don't eat afterwards or anything, but if your hands are a little messy, you just kind of deal with it for a while. I think pretty much anyone, you don't need a lot of animals to relate with that. Unless you have like dogs or something. I feel like that's a little weird. Uh, next up is a crested gecko, my favorite. And uh, he's very flared up right now. So he actually looks nothing like the images. I've seen people complain with other sellers acting like they got the wrong animal, but it's actually just cause they change colors because not only chameleons change colors other reptiles do too believe it or not and i'm actually going to put him in a taller cup besides tesla what's your favorite car i love the Taycan, which is also electric that's by porsche uh, also non-electric maybe would have been a, a more interesting question i'd say the 911 turbo s and the audi r8 and the acura nsx i wish i didn't have such expensive taste i can't get any of these cars <laughs> Also, the new Supra. I know everyone hates on the new Toyota Supras. Uh, the original ones were like a true Toyota vehicle. They were very old and classic and very powerful. And then the new Supras are actually mostly just, I think, BMWs and the styling people find boring, but I really like it. And every time I see one, I kind of go over. I, have, I grabbed a picture of one and I think they're nice, but completely unconventional for me. And it's gasoline, which I don't, if I were to get a gasoline vehicle, it would be a very like splurgy one that would be in like 50 years. Probably not 50, but <laughs> gas isn't for me right now. The thing is, after I drive my car for a while, I'm like, oh, I think I could do a gas vehicle again, and then I drive one and I forget how much I hate it, so I, I'm i stuck to electric, but I will get a... I'd, I'd like a Porsche Taycan. If, if anyone has one, just laying around for some reason. Turbo S, preferably. I know you can't turbo boost an electric vehicle. Don't worry about the name. But, scared me. It's a dubia roach on the floor. I thought it was not a dubia roach. I just sat on it. So this crusty actually also needs uh, a cold pack. It's going to Michigan. I'm going to, I mean a heat pack. 46. See, this is hard because you don't want crusties to get too hot, um, but it's also not freezing there. It's about in the 50s, but it doesn't go over 60. So I am comfortable putting a heat pack, but I lost the heat pack because I am losing everything, including my mind. What's your favorite food? I just get in moods. I usually eat Mexican, Asian, um, some American like wings. Are, are wings American? I don't know. Right now I've been on an Asian kick, so. I'm one of the snobby people that like, like sushi, but also don't really like sushi. Like, 
basically I'm not afraid to order a California roll and I have no um, shame in that, but usually I like tempura rolls, so stuff like that, but it changes a lot. The next one, the box looks ridiculous and I will explain why. First, let's get a shot of the box. You see, I ordered boxes of different sizes, but I forgot that I'm completely out of 12 by nine by six inch boxes. I only have 15 inch boxes, which are way too big and a lot more expensive to ship. So instead of um, spending a ton more money or having to delay a shipment, I just took the big boxes, which started as twice as this long, and then I cut it in half and shrunk it together. And so it looks kind of ridiculous, but it works and it's safe. Do stupid questions exist? Yeah, but generally it's better to ask a stupid question than make a stupid mistake. And here's the next one being shipped. It's a female, um, just an adult normal ball python. It's actually, since we have a few adults, it's kind of hard to identify them sometimes, but she's the easiest to identify because she's just super chill and really just hangs out. She's very shy though. Uh, she keeps hiding her head. She's also going through shed, which is fine. It makes her look a little wrinklier, so sometimes it might look like she's a bit more underweight, and it does dull her colors. But because she's still blue, or more so gray, it means she won't actually shed on the way, and she'll probably shed in like, I would guess, two to three days. Um, so if they're like right just starting to go into shed, I don't ship them until they're done or until I can just peel it off. But since she has a couple days, I'll go ahead and ship her anyway with no problems. Which feeder insect would win on a battle royale? Definitely not crickets, because they have very weak defense and they're very just soft and squishy. And it'll probably just heal over for no reason anyway. This one's going to Nevada. We've got a big variety of states today. I think just, I have to say dubia riches, because mealworms, you can just like crush their head or something, but dubias, they can lose their entire body and they still appear to be alive for like a long time, so. I think that's the fair answer. And I'm actually gonna write a note on this one apologizing for the ridiculous box. I did that for the other ones, but I lost another thing, my pin. It's actually not my pin, I took it. Cause I lost mine. <laughs> I said, thanks for ordering. Sorry about the odd box. I had to do some DIY action cause we don't have the right size. <laughs> that it overlaps so much, it looks so weird. And here we are. <laughs> it looks a bit wonky, slightly embarrassing but I think it's better than delaying their order for any longer. And the final reptile is another ball python. This is just a juvenile pastel. Pastels are weird because they actually change color a lot throughout their life. Um, I'm not actually really a fan of adult pastels. They're a lot more brown, uh, but they start as this cool yellowy orange. Do you eat chow mein hot or cold? Who eats chow mein cold? I've only had it from Panda Express, MPF Chang's, and it's always warm but cold sounds kind of gross. No judgment though, no hate here. Do you like ranch dressing? Yeah, but not as much as some people. Which beans are best at Chipotle? I can only stomach black beans. Why are there so many food questions? <laughs> I guess I did ask this at lunchtime. I guess everyone's really hungry. Um, what's the status on like school and stuff right now? Are people in school? I'm curious if you let me know, I assuming your school age. Are you going to school? Are you on online school? How does it work? I don't really get it. I just know that I wish I was in school. Well, okay, I don't wish I was in school right now, but I wish that this happened while I was in school. Uh, what's the one question you're sick of being asked? Just anything about reptiles. I, I gotta be honest with you. And that's my honest answer. I don't have any special input on like, what temperature for a ball python? I don't know, just Google it. I have like 11 care guides. You can just find it yourself. And he goes in the box. This one also has a heat pack because it's going to Montana. Why'd you sleep on the floor for years? This is the video I keep putting off just because I... <laughs> it's just a dumb one that I haven't done yet. Um, if you didn't know, which you probably didn't, I slept directly on the floor for about two years and four months or so. And... Yeah, I guess I'll do a video on it, like, soon. I do have a bed now, though. I went straight from sleeping on the floor to getting a queen size, because I splurged, I guess. Do you ever plan to have a second location for Mold Scales? I'm not really planning on it. It's just really hard to pack, expand this kind of thing, especially because, like, I've had employees, I still do. Um, 
I don't like having a big team. I don't want a big team. I just want a couple people at most with each project that I'm doing. Um, preferably, I just prefer like one person per project. Like with YouTube, get help from one person. With the animals, get help from one person. With the customer support, one person. And next up, I've got the insects. And having multiple locations, we kind of experimented with that by having contract. Well, they were hired as contractors. They would do what we do in their locations, and then they would ship to directly to the customer. But it's just, there were so many issues. If you watch my playlist called Making Money, um, I talked more about these contractors and kind of what, what went wrong. And quality control is just extremely difficult. So the bugs I'm shipping, first I've got three bumblebee millipedes, which is not going to this person. So I'm doing the isopods first. We have a big variety of isopods. They're bred uh, to create different mixes and colors and it's pretty cool. This person got dairy cow, um, but there's some that actually have a couple orange spots on them because I think some of them bred with powder oranges. We got one. I think these boxes are really cute. They're just white with a USPS label and then got some little Arnold scale stickers. Simple and clean and look pretty good. And then this person got three of the bumblebee millipedes. I think we saw two types of millipedes, desert golden bumblebee. I don't like millipedes myself, but people have shown interest and I think that's cool. I was worried it would become complicated um, having more than just reptiles on the site, but it's been pretty simple. It doesn't take more than an extra 30 minutes a day to pack them all and ship them all and stuff. And it's cool product for them and just extra revenue for the company. So we don't just rely on sales because the selling the animals themselves actually make the least profit out of anything with the animals. Um, I'll, like to give you a reference of how low it is, I, I'll make probably more money from this video than I will from all these reptiles that I'm selling. <laughs> it makes for interesting content and it gives people cool animals and the cool animals get cool homes. Oh, I forgot. This one needs a heat pack. It's going to Illinois and then the others are going to Florida. Wait, can I ship isopods to Florida? I'm gonna have to check that. Last question before we film it off. Film, last. Last question before we finish it off. Popcorn or cheese? I, I don't know what that means. Have you ever had butter on fruit snacks? Cause that's good. Cause if you mix fruit snacks with popcorn, I'm gonna say, as a snack, I would say popcorn, but cheese is kind of more vital to me. Wow, exciting last question. Okay, I'm going to get these animals off, we got ball python. Ball python. Crested gecko. Hognose snake. And leopard gecko. See, I still stack animals, even when you're not watching. And then two bugs. So I'll go get these on the way. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I think I have one more unboxing that I can edit because I did film one before we stopped taking them. And that'll be the last for a while, but I will continue boxing and getting animals out. And there are some more vloggish, vloggish content uh, coming where I show some of the moving process. So I'll keep filming that and working on that. That'll be it for this video. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.